Hey y'all, Toad here. Well, some of you <laughs> will recognize that if uh, if you're a, you know somebody who's a little bit older than uh, I don't know what is it like 25 or 30 now? Good God! Way back in the olden days, this is how we used to get our TV signals. <laughs> God, it's hard to imagine that. Anyway, this is one that was actually in the attic. And it was purchased brand new back in, no, oh, I'd probably the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, you know, in the days before cable out here. And what I'm going to do, let me see if I can move around a little bit and get out of the wind, is uh, I'm going to take it apart. And uh, the idea is to make a six meter and a two meter um, antenna out of the parts be two separate antennas and uh, just gonna give it a whirl man I just uh, I'm learning about this now watched a bunch of videos did some research learned some uh, formulas and I'm just gonna take you along for the ride all right well, I'm just gonna get started okay well here it is assembled uh, there's just too much stuff going on around here right now to be able to do a video of actually you know cutting all the pieces and putting it together but I can run you down here just tell you pretty much what it is I took the longest pieces of the antenna that ended up being just a few inches short uh, of perfect and what I did is just kinda these are hollow so I just kinda spread one end out a little bit and squished the other end of one of the other pieces of the element stuck it in there and by loosening this you can pull this back and forth to tune it and this ended up being uh, I think it was about 51 and an eighth inch on each side but uh, no matter where this ends up what radio you know you got that much tuning to be able to get it to work then at the other end you know this is just a piece of uh, plexiglass it's quarter inch thick I had laying around it's four inches this this dimension and I think it's about eight inches or so this dimension this was actually a a, um, a piece of plexiglass I took off of a boat that was part of a sliding cabinet this was turned sideways and you stuck your finger in that hole to open it or close it so that's where that came from and as you can see I, I have a pretty decent sized rivet gun so there's a quarter inch rivet there and then a small bolt a couple of the star washers and a lock washer and the uh, shield side of the uh, coax connector and on the other side same thing and it's just to the center I need to go ahead and uh, uh, solder that and put a piece of shrink tubing on it and then of course you know it's just the other end it's put together the exact same way and then on the back side is just the original mount and I've got it on the pole this part here was the body of the antenna so I just used that as as the pole you saw you'll see it here in a video when I put you see it in the video when I put it up but uh, there it is and let me see if I can spin it around here get it up over my head spin it around and you can see the other side of it just there's the rivets there's the bolts and there's the uh, the coax I was a little bit concerned about the heads of these screws getting in the way of the coax but it doesn't it goes on and bottoms out plenty of room I had no I had no problem when I tested it and I just cut this off just because it stuck up a little bit over here now this antenna is gonna probably end up somewhere else so I'm probably gonna rebuild it and for shipping reasons take this down to a little under three inches so it'll fit in a shipping tube but uh, let me just spin it around again other than that really easy and the hope being that uh, if you want to transport it you just loosen these and the ends will just pivot down and you can stick it in the car and transport it if you want so let's get it up in the air and give it a whirl all right well there it is hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad let me get away from the trees a little bit maybe you can see it better there we go and it's uh 
it's mounted on about a 10 or 11 foot pole off the ground here what you call a cheesy throw together deal for a test but uh, I've only got one feed line and right now it's running up to the uh, to the Alpha Delta there and I have to take the Alpha Delta down anyway because I need to uh, shorten it up by about half or three quarters of an inch just to get it to uh, tune really good everywhere is on the 40 meter band so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing down and uh, shorten it up and grab the feed line off of it and attach it to this little guy here and we'll see how it goes okay here's the here's my radio this is the SWR meter right here I don't want to see any you know LEDs lighting up going this way and watch what happens we are smack dab and yeah, well not right in the middle we're towards the end of the uh, of the band and I've already announced so uh, you can watch this this is a test this is a test and as you can see it didn't even come off the uh, the one on SWRs so what we have right now is an antenna that is perfectly tuned well, as perfect as I can get it anyway in the in the six meter band uh, right at the other end of the band there was a little bit um, I got SWRs of probably 0.2 something like that very very tiny uh, so it's it's right there it's probably within a couple of millimeters of, of tuning perfect so I am very very happy with this antenna